Strange family is struggling to pick up the pieces after their life changed in the blink of an eye. Fire destroyed their home on North 3rd Street yesterday after 5 o'clock. WGEM's Raja Makehul spoke with the family about what happened and what's next. Raja? 20th has become a double-edged sword for LaGrange resident Holly Quayle. Her oldest son was born on that date eight years ago. That's also the date when she was so proud to buy her brand new home six years ago. But that new home was destroyed by fire yesterday on July 20th, leaving her in shock of her family's loss and how fast it happened. Thursday started out as a normal happy day for Holly Quayle, her partner Kyle, and their two young sons. But the five o'clock hour quickly turned to devastation. It was his birthday. I saw the flames in the window behind him. We don't know how it started. They think it might have been from the old wiring in the house or could have been from the old windows. It was a different kind of glass that they think might have magnified the sun rays. I'm not sure. But one thing is for sure, loss, sadness, and devastation. I worked two jobs to get that house, to get my son somewhere to live not to mention lost memories of lost loved ones. And the biggest loss to me and Kyle is the memories, pictures, and items of our family that we lost. He lost both his mom and his dad. And I lost my, my grandmother and my stepdad and, and our son. And just, that's the stuff that's not replaceable. We just got to try to make sure our sons remember them. Holly's six-year-old son had a twin who passed away six years ago. His ashes were on the mantelpiece, and one of the firefighters in town, Henry Gunsels, went in and got everything that he could. Neighbor Gina Sellers was home at the time of the fire. And the firemen were really struggling with the heat. It was pretty hot. They were sweating. They were working so hard to put that fire out to try to save their home. There was a young girl that came running over to the house saying she needed some water for the fire department. And I said, just go on in and get some water. So she got some water. So I ran into the house and, and um, got more water for them, got ice um, out of my freezer for them. And um, next thing I know, I just took a cool over to the guys, trying to you know, make sure they stay hydrated. The city of LaGrange relies on volunteer firefighters, just as many other small communities. They work at other jobs. They come here, they volunteer. Um, they train, and, and then they make sure our community is safe. I'm thankful to live in a community where everybody is so supportive and helpful, and everybody's reached out. Everything in your life can change in a second, and that if you don't have a good community and group of people to lean on, you know, I don't know what we would do. We wouldn't be able to make it. But everybody has been so supportive, and I love living in a small town. I wouldn't pick anywhere else to live. Now, fundraisers are planned to help the family who lost everything in that fire. All right. Thanks, Raja. And by the way, you can find a link to some of the fundraisers along with uh, clothing sizes for the family's two sons at WGEM.com.